Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Hey, Brad, we're going to talk about nine massage ball exercises that you can do to put your massage therapist out of business. Bob, we're going to have feedback yeah, on this We're going to have one. people mad at us. No, this, we, we don't really mean that. What we mean is that there's times where you can't have a massage therapist with you, maybe when you're on a trip. Right. Or maybe you can't afford one right now. So we're going to give you some alternative things you can try. And these are stuff... You know, things that you might even have at home sure. that you can try. And uh, But before we do that, Brad, oh, right. if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to the Facebook and like us, Bob and Brad, because Bob and Brad, as children, were picked on. Oh, it's kind Bob. of a sad story, and we're trying to turn things around. We're getting the likes now, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. We're, this is all... It is turning around, but Bob, what about the massage? All right, so the massage. So uh, what you're going to need, and one of the reasons you want to do this, by the way, right. I want to mention this, is that there's a lot of professional athletes have found out now by keeping muscle pliability, keeping those muscles pliable, you actually can perform better and you're going to have a longer career. Sure. And, of course, Tom Brady is one of the main examples of this. Uh, he wrote the book, uh, The T TB12 Method, and uh, he, he, he mentions muscle pliability in here probably 7,000 times. Oh, right? really? Yeah, so he uses a foam roller, but these work just as well. And in fact, uh, I got another example here. I took this article out of the paper. Uh, we're in Minnesota here right now, right. and this is Jamal Crawford. He plays for the Timberwolves. He uses a softball like this after each game and, and he, before each game and after each game to, to knead the muscles and, and get them ready for the game. Is that a professional team? Yeah. Oh, good. What do you mean is that a professional team? <laughs> Actually, are the, are the Packers a professional yeah, team? Yeah, give me a break. <laughs> this pliability is nothing new. It's just that they're right. popular. They, you know, and they're high level people or players. But, uh, you know, massage therapists say, oh, well, we've been preaching that for years. And it is true, though. Yeah, it is true. It's going to extend their career. And so, so here's some options that you can try. You could try a good old tennis ball. These are kind of nice because they're they have a little bit of give to them. They're right. not super hard. Um, the lacrosse ball, if you're really a little more aggressive. Right, it'll I, get in deeper. Yeah, I, to be honest, I like different balls on different areas, to be right. honest with you. Um, that's, we got the softball. Uh, we got this one, actually, this is a ball you can purchase. Uh, we got it in our Amazon sure. links below. It's by from OPTP. It's a, it's kind of a good size and soft. Specifically so, made for this. Yeah, and, and then we got the, the ball in a sock. Which we'll show you in a little bit what that's for. So we're going to start off, we're going to start right, go from kind of foot to, and work our way up. Sure. So the first one uh, that I just, you know, I was kind of surprised at this one, Brad. It actually felt really good. I was having a little bit of, little bit of foot discomfort when I sure. run. It, it seems to go away after I run for a while. Yeah. And I did this before I ran, and actually I didn't have any pain at all then. Sure. So it's just, you just take a ball, put it on the floor, and you can take it down there, Liz. And you can roll back and forth, so you get into the arch, so you can go back and forth, you know, either, you know, longitudinally or diagonally or side to side. Both directions. Yeah, both directions. <laughs> but you can get up into the metatarsals too, which is the ball of your foot. Yep, or up, up in here. Now, you, we're sitting right now, but you can actually stand and do this too. Whoops, there it goes. Put a little more weight on it. Yep. And then I, I got into the heel too, Brad. Sure. Now, I am finding that this one is not hard enough for me. I, I would rather have a lacrosse ball for this Yeah, one. right. So like so. you said, different body parts are going to, uh, you know, and you'll know by the feel of it. Um, it should, it may feel a little aggressive, but as you do, it should be one of those things where it hurts so good. Yeah, that's, that's a good uh, phrase, Brad. All right, then we're going to go into shin splints. Now, if you got shin splints or you're trying to prevent shin splints, especially the anterior type, that's the muscle right in here, the anterior tib. You're going to want to massage this area here. Right. Um, and if you wanted to get the posterior, you can go back here. You can get them both. So, again, I would probably, yeah, I would take either a lacrosse ball or you're taking the softball, aren't you, Brad? That's pretty aggressive. I just wanted to show you could do that or, or this one. You can see it's much more squishy. And, you know, I'm thinking I feel better with this one. But yeah, there that, may be some real... Uh, Really uh, hardcore guys out there. Right, that really want to get in deep. Do you want to try a lacrosse ball once or is that not enough? Well, I can try it. You think it's going to be too much, don't you? Actually, as long as I control my weight, it feels actually feels good because it is getting in there. So, yeah, it's uh, oh, especially. Oh, this is good on the side there. I got a tight spot right there, Bob. Yep. Yeah, I when I was starting to have a little bit of difficulty with shin splints, I started to feel it. Yeah, now get the posterior. Excellent, Brad. Um, 
I did these for a couple of days and it just, you know, a lot of these issues, if you jump on them right away before they get to, to be too serious, right. um, they, they go away. Uh, if you've got a full-blown case of shin splints, it, then it may take a while before you, you get Yeah, to that, that is key, is getting it in the early so stages. So not only is he kind of treating posterior shin splints, which is in the back, but he's also getting the calf muscle, which is a great one to get. Right. Because this is one that gets real sore, especially on the weekend athlete. There you go, Brad. Wow, show a little leg. leg. Yeah. See that? I got a scratch right there. I don't know how I got that, but it's there. Well, you were just biking. Yeah, uh, it was out in the woods, yeah, mountain so. biking. I suppose I wasn't even thinking. So um, then we'll go into the. We'll do. We'll both do this one, Brad. I'll go. I'll go up here. Uh, we're going to do the hamstring. Oh yeah, one of my well, favorites. On the hamstring, I definitely like the larger ball. I yep. like the, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's it's really hard to get. It's such a large muscle. And again, I went, I went back and forth like this, and I also go along the length. And I did that one this morning. You can't even see, pull, can you? Yeah, pull that uh, short yeah, the over. material over. Yeah, there so, you go. So again, I'm going back and forth, working my way down the muscle, and I'm also going lengthwise. Both directions. Both directions. Both directions. Some people actually, Brad, do this. They actually, if you're, if you're getting right where that attaches to the sit bone, yep. they, they'll sit on it. Like oh, this, and, yep. and they'll stay off the sit bone. And they'll just apply the pressure. Yep. It'll work this area here, because this is often an area that, like my wife has trouble with this, that uh, it, she hasn't mentioned it in a while. Oh, yeah, it's interesting, I wonder if it's gone away. Um, <laughs> but anyway, she has trouble with their, where the hamstrings attach to the sit bone, to the pelvis. And so this would be a great one for her to do, to, to loosen that up before she does any walking or I running. experienced uh, immediate relief doing this. Uh, after a run once, I had a very painful tight spot right there and I did this technique and I was smiling within about a minute. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, it's hard to believe, Brad. <laughs> it's a true story. I All swear right. to God. All right, how about tensor fascia lata? So that's up in here, kind of attaches into the IT band. It's um, right where this white stripe goes. Yeah, well that's the IT band. All oh, right, the tensor yeah. fascia lata is up here. Yep, yep, yep. And some people say don't massage the IT band because it's a you know, it's an inert object, it's not a, it's not a muscle, and they just do the tensor fascia lata. Right. Some people do the, the IT band. So. Right. Well, I, I say do what works for you. Yeah, I think if you stretch the IT band, it's stretching the tensor fascia lata because it's tied into it, so. I'm telling you what, though, if I'm going to do the IT band, I'm going to use a softer yeah. ball. Yeah, and I'm uh, probably going to use a smaller ball or, especially because I'm getting into that tensor fascia lata. So we're kind of at an angle. You see both Brad and I are not on our sides. We're kind of a little bit almost on our backs a little bit back yeah. and on our side. And we're working that. I know you can't see it on me that I'm, I've got everything covered up here. So, Well, thank but, God. <laughs> just kidding. It's a Anyways, family show. I know, I know. Sometimes I digress. Um, All right, how about the hip flexor, Brad? So yeah. that, that too is going to be, you know, in this area here, you're going to be laying down onto it. Um, you're not going to do this on a bed. You're going to be on a firm yeah. floor. Now, th this is a muscle that it gets tight in a lot of people because we are a sitting society. And so when we sit all day, this muscle shortens up, the hip flexor. So it's a great one to, to, to work out and you know, give you a better posture. It'll make it easier for you to stand up straight. So which one did you like and end up liking, Brad? Which, which ball? Oh, you use the oh, softball? I use both, but uh, actually this works a little better. But, you know, you can use a softball. It's going to depend on your, your body shape and uh, uh, composition. So you, and, and with some of these, you know, you may find out you could just get by with one type of ball. So right. I did this one this morning, Brad. I actually did the hip uh, adductors. Oh, yeah. That's the muscles uh, in, in the inner thighs here. And I, I, I did it like this. I just put them both together and I rolled back and forth. So I was getting both of them at the same time. Sure. And again, I, yeah, I needed a little bit of a, a larger ball for that. I used actually that blue one, the this one that you're using, yep. And my muscles, again, were a little sore from biking yesterday. Yep. And uh, I wanted to go for a run this morning, so I, I wanted to get things loosened up before sure. I even went out. And so my legs wouldn't feel dead. So then, we'll okay, we can flip over and go to the quadricep. Um, again, I like a larger ball for that. Um, sure. It's just a larger muscle. And usually, it's just easier to use a larger ball. I'm going to have to. Oh, I'm going to have to flip around the other way here because I'm going to hit a microphone. Otherwise, I'm going to hit my mic no matter what I do here. 
So, how's it going there, Brad? Going wonderful. I'm, I'm working oh. that rectus femoris right now. So again, you can go side to side. You can go up. I even like to bring the leg up like this, and you, can, you kind of focus on that. The muscles get a little bit of stretch yeah. while you're, you're 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 stretching it with the ball too. Sure. So, yeah, I'm well. working my way all the way down it. This must be a strange thing if people start watching right here where they're going, what are you doing? <laughs> this is a yeah, family show. Yes, we, uh, we must uh, be professional, Bob. Okay, Brad, why don't you go ahead and grab the, this one, the ball in a sock. Oh, yeah. And this one works out great for if you're getting some of those knots up in your upper back. Um, Brad's going to go ahead and demonstrate that. So you simply, you can put, you know, a tennis ball, a cross ball, just drop it in a sock, make sure it's a clean one. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to use it right on that trigger point there or wherever you need it and get it up against the wall. Oops. And that's the thing about, that's why you use a sock. You can dangle it down and it won't drop to the floor. Oh, there I'm on it. And you'll know, I, I can feel right there. I'm putting a fair amount of weight in it. As you can see, I'm leaning into it. Ooh, feels, you know, it's one of those hurts so good and, Get so down. this is where you can really control the pressure because you're standing as opposed to if you're laying down. Yeah, it's almost right. Longer. That's a little more, it's quite a bit more aggressive if you're laying on it. But I've had people, as a matter of fact, this last week I had a patient who needed to do it laying down. because Oh, they did. Yep, yeah, you wanted it aggressive. Yeah, and uh, the last one I'm going to show you, um, this is the one I always like because, uh, you know, I stretch my chest all the time. Because yeah. if you don't, you start getting into this yeah, yeah. poor posture here. Yeah. But it seems like it helps even more if you can massage that area a little bit here. So I just take the ball against the wall like this, and I roll up and down like this. Right. And it just it really works that, that chest muscle really well, the right. pectoralis that, major. Yeah, that, that's a larger muscle, and it needs uh, want to keep it uh, healthy. Yeah, well, and, and it just makes it a lot easier for you to keep your good posture. Right, then, so. right. There we go. We got the nine massage ball exercises in, Brad. Nobody got hurt, right? Exactly. Whoa. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Could.